Hi, this is Dan with University of Beach Volleyball. Thanks for joining us for this evaluation video. We're going to take a look at a play that looks quite common, and it is a quite a common play, but there's so many things that go on in the play and a great thing to learn from. We're going to look at where to start the block, when to pull the block, when not to pull, where the setter should be on a short set, and also the domino effect of a bad defensive read. So let's take a look at the play. Okay, we've got a really nice short serve, a little bit of a shank pass, good pull, good dig, great set, and she's down. Well, that looked pretty simple. I'm going to start with what happened. All right, great short serve. So a short jump serve is a pretty amazing shot to start out with. But look at the blocker. The blocker's up at the net where it's supposed to be, starting at the net. He's not running up. He's not uh, halfway in the middle of the court. He is in right at the net where he's supposed to be. Now we're going to look at the play in slow motion. And there is a ton of stuff that happens, in, and we'll see the domino effect of what's going on. Okay, starts with a nice toss. Great short serve. Okay. Passer shanks the ball a little bit, but the actually the setter overruns the play, and we'll talk more about that later. The pull on the block is after the set. Pass goes into the middle of the court. Set gets pushed up to the net, and look at the blocker pull on a perfect set and a great cut shot. Look where that sucker lands, and everybody's out of position on the defense. Here's an interesting thing that happens on short serves. The position of the setter is critical. Now, on a normal serve, you definitely want the setter to be out in front of the passer. But on a short serve uh, or short free ball, the setter can't get out in front of the, the passer. The, they have to stay parallel to the passer. You don't want to be behind them, but you want to be parallel with them because the Margins for error on the short serve are much greater, so you got to give the, the passer a little bit more space and be able to adjust to their ball uh, where that pass goes. So stay parallel. Don't get out in front of them. So when the ball gets shanked on the pass, the blocker doesn't freak out. He doesn't run away from the play. He's not so concerned with the pass. He's more concerned about where that set's going. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to the set, not the first pass. That's what's what you need to make your read off of. Here the blocker showing great patience. The set is up in the air. He can tell where it's going. And so now he's starting to take his first step off the net to pull. But look at where he is. He's still right up on the net in case it would have been a good uh, set. But it's not, so he's pulling. Good patience. When you do pull off the net and the opponent is making contact with the ball, as you can see is going on right now, you need to have your hands around chest height. Don't have them down by your waist. That's, that's actually bad positioning by the blocker there. His partner is in great position. He's got his weight on his toes. He's got his hands out in front of him. He's ready to move. <clears throat> So right now we got everybody pretty much in good position after they dug the free ball. The setter is pointing his body or facing the net, so great position there. The digger, who is now going to be the hitter, has scooted up in the court. He didn't wait for anything. As soon as he passed the ball, he started to move up, which is great. The other team, as the setter, has turned into the blocker, which is fantastic. Instead of a lot of times after a free ball, people just kind of hang back. Well, they didn't on this play. So the setter stayed up there and is in position to block. Everyone's in great position so far. A couple things on this still photo. The blocker pulls. I have no idea why the blocker pulls. You don't pull on a tight set when the setter is in front of the, the passer. If the setter is behind the passer, so that set would be coming from the back line, and so the setter, the hitter has got a, the ball's coming over their shoulder, that's an okay time to pull because the, the, hit, the shot maker is blind to the blocker. But on this play, the setter's in front of the passer, and so as the 
the passer is making his approach, you can see everything. You can tell when someone pulls off the net. Not only does he pull off the net, but he pulls off down the line, which forces his partner to come more into the middle because on a tight set, on that type of approach, most likely the hitter is going to be pounding the ball down the middle of the court. So the pull on the block actually screws up the defense even more because A, you don't pull on a tight set on that when the, when the setter's in front of the hitter, and B, you don't pull down the line on that type of a play, which makes his partner go, holy crap, I got the entire court to cover now, and the easy put away now is the cut shot. So pay attention to that. When are you gonna pull on a shot maker it really depends on where that setter is. If the setter's out in front of them, uh, don't pull until you definitely know where that set's going. But if the set's coming from behind the hitter, then that might be a time to pull. So pay attention to those things. All right, we're gonna watch the play one more time in slow motion. Pay attention to the blockers pulling when they should and when they shouldn't. And also, we'll start right here in terms of the setter. On that short ball, remember, don't get out in front of your passer because you might have to jump back like this. Now, good pull by the blocker. Easy play to make in the middle of the court. Great set pushing up. Now, watch the, the approach here. Jab step and a big plant jump and hits that cut shot from as high as he can reach. He doesn't drop his arm to make the cut shot. He, he attacks the ball on the cut shot. Fantastic play there. Hope you guys learned some on this one in terms of when to pull, when not to pull. Don't overrun your passer on short balls and uh, make that approach strong. Good jab step, good plant jump, hit those cut shots, every shot from as high as you can reach. As always, be your very best. Thanks for joining us.